in a magnificent land with mountains and oceans and beaches and rivers and seas and animals and wildlife and just abundance. There was this extraordinary empress who reigned over it all. She had created amazing systems and areas of abundance, of production. The land was productive, people were productive. There was affluence and enough all around. And so one day, leaving her beautiful, magnificent estate with her entourage, she went out feeling really magnanimous and great and grateful about the world and just how much she had. She walked out and there was a beggar on the side of the road with a bowl. And she saw this bowl and it looked really beautiful and she saw this beggar and feeling great. She said, hey, you know, what is it that your heart desires? Tell me what you need. Tell me what you want and I'll give it to you. And this beggar with a bowl looked up and said, all I want is this, my bowl to be filled. And she said, well, of course I can give you whatever you desire. I'm the empress. Look at everything I've created. And the beggar said, be careful. Be careful what you promise. Be careful what you say. And she went, well, of course I can do that. And he said, fine. All I want is, all my greatest desire is, is for this bowl to be filled, filled with coins that you have. And she went, of course. And of course, as part of her entourage, she had her minister of finance with her with his coins, bags, and she said, you know, fill up the man's bowl. So he did. He opened up his bag of coins and started pouring gold and silver coins into this bowl. The most extraordinary thing happened. It just flowed right through. There was nothing underneath. But they just disappeared. As they hit the bowl, the coins just disappeared and the bowl just stayed empty. And she said, well, pour in faster. Come on, fill up this bowl, this bowl of desire. We can absolutely fill that. And so they got the next bag and filled that in, tried to fill in faster. First, the next minute, everything they had brought with them was gone. So she sent all her entourage back to the, the homestead, to the castle and said, Go and open the coffers, go and open the reserves, bring out money we have. So they brought out more bags of gold and silver and precious metals and, and gems and started pouring this, this into the bowl. And she started getting more and more frustrated. Well, I have everything, I've created all of this, of course I can meet desire. What, you know, what else is life about? And they poured more and more and more in. And people started gathering around and noticing what was going on. They could see her getting flustered, everybody else getting flustered. How could they not just fill this bowl of desire? And so soon the coffers were empty and off she sent her troops out and on tries to go out into the countryside to her the furthest reaches of her empire to just bring whatever they could get, money and resources and crops. And they just poured this into the bowl and the beggar just stood there. And they just poured in. As no matter how fast they poured in, what they poured in, it just stayed empty. Eventually, the land was depleted. The crops were devastated. Everything was Dried. Everything had been taken from this land. People were now hungry and starving. Everything had been destroyed, trying to fill this bowl of desire. Stripped of everything, feeling desperate, not knowing what had happened, she dropped her knees and said, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing more I can have. Yet this bowl stays empty. Please, can you just tell me one thing? What is it? What is it about this bowl? Why could we not fill it? And the beggar looked up to her and said, you don't recognize me, but I was your spiritual teacher in your past life. And you asked me to come back into this life and remind you and teach you this lesson that you were afraid you would forget and you had. That the point of life is not to fulfill every desire. Desire is infinite. It is eternal. It's like creativity. There's always going to be something more. That is the gift of life. It is unlimited. But if you believe that the aim of your life is to fulfill every desire, to achieve every experience you could have, to do everything, you're going to be constantly pouring your life force into a bowl that can never be filled. This is the bowl of all of human desire. It is extraordinary. It stretches us. It teaches us how to create and do wondrous things. But if you become a slave to it, if you get hooked into the illusion that your life is only worthy when you're meeting all your desires, you'll be depleted. 
you'll destroy everything, you and everything around you. That is the lesson you asked me to teach you. And that is why I'm here.